Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to learn what are the different types of arrows, what are their applications in writing organic reaction mechanisms. So in this chapter of organic reaction mechanisms, now we had seen what are the different definitions of acids and bases. Then we had also seen different types of functional groups that are present in organic chemistry. In this video, we will see what is the role of different types of arrows in organic chemistry as well as some arrows that are used in inorganic chemistry. So the first arrow here you can see this is called as irreversible reaction arrow. What is the meaning of an irreversible reaction? Irreversible reaction means suppose I have reactant A that is getting converted to product P. So this forward reaction is possible that product can be formed from the reactant from the reactants A is what A is reactant but the opposite reaction is not possible the opposite reaction that is product cannot be converted back to the reactants that is called as irreversible reversible means it can be converted back irreversible means product cannot be converted back to reactant now here you can see there are this multiple arrows what is what does this indicate a reaction having multiple steps A reaction having multiple steps. That is the meaning of this reaction. Okay, suppose I take an example of ethanol. Okay, ethanol, what I can do? Or let's say I start with alkyl halide, ethyl bromide. I will do substitution and I will get alcohol suppose i use some base in aqueous medium then this is what sn2 reaction i'll get this alcohol then what i do let's say i do oxidation okay oxidation of this will give me what acetic acid oxidation using let's say strong oxidizing agent like kmno4 or k2cr2o7 potassium dichromate i'll get what carboxylic acid so how will i represent this this is the reactant and then multiple arrow, multiple reaction arrow like this. That means there are multiple steps involved in the process. And then I write down the product like this. Okay. In this way, this is a use of this multiple reaction arrow. Okay. What does this signify? Arrow with a cross or double dash. This means the reaction, the product cannot be formed. Product cannot be formed or no reaction occurs. Or no reaction. For example, I take the example of let's say tertiary butyl alcohol. Okay, I do oxidation of this. Okay, OH. Tertiary butyl alcohol, I do oxidation of this. You know, oxidation of tertiary butyl alcohol is not possible. So we write like this. Okay, how I can represent this? On, on an arrow, I put cross. Okay, I put cross like this. That means the reaction does not take place. So these were the three types of arrows. The next set of arrows is equilibrium arrows. These are called as what? These are called as equilibrium arrows. Okay, this first arrow, it represents the general equilibrium. Okay, it just represents that the reaction is in equilibrium. Okay, second and third, uh, second and third reaction arrows, that, what does that mean? Before that, let us write down a reaction A giving product P. So, there is equal probability of forming P and the reverse reaction also, it is same. Okay, formation of A from P is also same as compared to A converting to P. So that is called as normal equilibrium arrow. Now suppose in some reaction, formation of product is more that is a forward equilibrium is favored. Forward direction is favored. Then what we do? Front arrow, I will make it larger and the reverse arrow, I will make it short. Okay, and suppose if the reactant is favored, formation of reactant is favored, then I write like this. That is backward or reverse equilibrium is favored. Backward equilibrium is favored. 
is favored okay these are called as what these are called as direction bias direction bias bias means it favors one particular direction direction bias equilibrium arrows direction bias equilibrium arrows okay these were the three types of equilibrium arrows next these are very very important for organic chemistry because this we are going to use very often very often we are going to use this arrows this is called as double barbed arrow double barbed arrow what what is the meaning of barb this is a barb there are two barbs that is why it is called as double barbed arrow what does this signify it signifies the movement of two electrons okay movement of two electrons two electrons and from where does the arrow start and where does it end arrow always starts from an electron rich center electron rich center or we can say electron donor and it ends at a electron deficient center for example suppose i have this molecule like this ch2 plus okay and i give you two options and you have to identify which is the correct reaction arrow this is one and other option also i'll give you with a different color orange like this so you have to decide which is the correct arrow the red one or the orange one red one you can see it is from electron deficient center to electron rich center single bond is not moving what is moving here is the electron it shows a movement of electrons so here the or orange arrow is the correct answer like this okay and another very common mistake that uh, we do is suppose i have an alkene and i am reacting with h plus ion let's say or hbr okay suppose it is h plus ion now h plus ion is electron deficient but we know generally tend to write the arrows that the reagent is attacking the reactant okay so this is the incorrect arrow because this is electron deficient species okay h plus ion is electron deficient it does not have any electrons the correct arrow should be opposite of this the correct arrow should be pi electrons are attacking electron deficient h plus ion so this is another very very common mistake which many people do the arrow should start from electron rich center and end at an electron deficient center okay so this was movement of two electrons it shows the movement of two electrons now when you talk about a homolytic fission what is a homolytic fission suppose there is a bond let's say cl2 Okay, i want to do homolytic fission that takes place in presence of light okay halogenation of alkanes we see this type of mechanism or even in polymer addition polymerization we see this type of reaction this is called as what this is called as homolytic fission homolytic fission means on breaking the bond both the atoms will get one one electron each that is cl with one electron cl with one electron what is the name of this arrow this arrow if you see this some somehow looks like a fish hook so that is why this is called as fish hook arrow fish hook arrow and this is also called as single barbed arrow because there is only one barb you can see single barbed arrow and what does this signify it signifies the movement of a single electron okay single electron is moving like this on the right if the electron is moving on the left we show like this okay so this is mostly used in which type of reaction radical reaction free radical mechanisms free radical mechanism okay these both arrows are very very important next we come on to this arrow this is called as double headed arrow a single line and two barbs 
okay this is called as double headed arrow okay where do we use we use in uh, while writing resonance structures we use it while writing resonance structures okay for example suppose i want to write down the resonance structure of a allylic carbocation like this this is the next video that we are going to see on resonance structure how to draw resonance structures what are the rules for writing the resonance structures is this a correct arrow that i have drawn no this is incorrect Okay, many times people do this mistake they draw equilibrium arrows or sometimes they draw this arrow this arrow okay or this arrow like this all these are incorrect which is the correct arrow for a uh, resonance structure always remember single line you have to draw a single line and then arrow here and arrow here like this so this indicates a Okay, resonance structures so positive charge is transferred here and double bond is formed here okay this is the example of resonance and what is this arrow this arrow is called as dipole moment arrow dipole moment arrow now what is what does it indicate it indicates the it is used to signify a polar bond polar bond means let's say suppose oh is a polar bond so in accord in this arrow the arrow starts from less electronegative atom and it ends at more electronegative atom electronegative means electron withdrawing group more electron withdrawing atom so for this oh bond if i want to draw the arrow what will be the correct arrow the green one is correct or i'll give you another option that is the orange or orange is correct okay it points towards the more electronegative atom so which is more electronegative oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen so the orange arrow is correct green is incorrect okay so this you have to be very careful suppose i'll draw one more arrow ch3 cl now between carbon and chlorine which is the more electronegative atom chlorine right so the arrow will be like this now between carbon and hydrogen if you see which is more electronegative carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen so the arrow will be like this towards carbon okay and then we write down the overall dipole molecular dipole we write like this same arrow but besides the molecule this is called as molecular dipole okay so this was a dipole moment arrow next these are some of the arrows that we use in while writing electronic configuration okay suppose we write electronic configuration okay the arrow is like this this is the arrow here this should be like this okay either you write like this or you write like this okay this shows what this showed pairing pairing of electrons in orbitals in atomic orbitals okay and if it is a single electron or unpaired electron we show like this like this or sometimes we write like this both are correct okay this was these were the arrows used to write down the electronic fill electrons in an electronic orbital diagram of electronic configuration orbital diagram of electronic configuration while writing electronic configuration now in the reactions suppose a gas is released h2 we write this arrow what does this indicate that a gas is evolved evolved or released and what is the meaning of this down arrow a precipitate is formed okay something is getting settled down in the reaction precipitate is formed okay next arrows this is what this is used in stereochemistry okay stereochemistry and also in group theory we use this arrow what does this indicate 
this indicate rotation what does this indicate rotation it is called a stereochemical arrow okay suppose i take water molecule and i apply c2 okay c2 axis then how will i show rotation i will show like this that it is rotating like this okay this shows what this shows rotation let's say one two after rotation what it will become this will become h2 h1 okay this one h1 will come on the right this will go on the left okay this was a stereochemical arrow now what does this show this shows photons okay if you remember einstein's photoelectric effect we show this arrow einstein's photoelectric effect what we do a stream of photons is incident on a metal surface okay any any surface which has a substance which can easily lose electrons those electrons are called what they are called as photoelectrons okay, and the current that is generated is called as photoelectric current okay so this indicates what photons and this is the yeah this is the last arrow this is called as retrosynthesis arrow this is called as a retrosynthesis arrow what is the significance of this let us see that why when do we show this retrosynthesis arrow suppose let us consider a normal reaction like let's say esterification reaction what is esterification acetic acid a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol let's say ethanol methanol sorry and there will be loss of water molecule okay there will be loss of water molecule and what we will get is we will get an ester okay so this was esterification reaction suppose i want to write down a reverse reaction okay i want to represent a retrosynthetic reaction for this retro means we go opposite like we draw the product first this is called as a target molecule okay that means this molecule i have to form this is the product and then i will write this retrosynthesis arrow that means this target molecule has to be prepared from some reactant and that reactant is what ch3 c double bond ooh plus ethanol here we use this retrosynthesis arrow which indicates that a target molecule or the product is formed from these reactants i hope you have understood all the arrows and their applications thank you